everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am showing you my entire physical TBR. So welcome to my TBR shelves. This is a traditional six shelf bookcase, uh, although I actually have more books all the way at the top here that you guys can't see and this is where I keep the majority of my TBR books. We have adult books and then moving further down we have young adult books. I do have some other stuff interspersed actually in my other shelves or I have a couple shelves over by my middle grade stuff and so we will eventually be moving sort of like from this side to that side as I show you all of my physical TBR books. But that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you just exactly how many physical TBR books I have. I do also have quite a few ebooks, but that's going to be for a different video. This one is just going to be physical TBR books. I currently have, I want to say, I just counted, like 413. So that's what you're going to be seeing today. I want to say there might also be a couple things that I've like moved off to the side because I'm like finishing this month so I didn't count them in my TBR because I should finish them by the time this video comes out and I didn't mention them in the number because like I just I just counted so the good thing is we have almost under 400 books like I'm so proud of that number because I want to say last year I think it was over 500 the year before that was even more and like my TBR feels like it hasn't gone down very much because I ended up counting my ebooks into it but like if I can get my physical TBR down under 400 books by the end of the year and it's only February I will be so so happy you guys don't understand so happy so yeah I don't think there's gonna be much other explanation I will have timestamps down below in case you guys want to see my TBR books by age grouping because that's basically what I have here. I have adults, I have young adults, I have middle grade, I actually have some manga and stuff too so I'll just have the timestamps down below for you guys. And one other thing I should mention before we actually get into it is if you see any books here that you want me to read leave a comment down below because in my TBR game I actually do have a red, I actually do have a colorful die that I roll and the red color pertains to cards of who gets to pick books for me and this is going to be the new updated video for viewers to pick my book. So leave a comment down below with a book or books that you think I should read because if those cards come up I will be randomizing comments from here to pick what I'm going to read in the month. So this is your opportunity to tell me what I need to read. And so without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off with the adult section, I have Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry, Hang the Moon by Alexandria Bellafleur, Lies and Lullabies by Serena Bowen, Kilman Creek, Wolf Hunter River, Bitter Falls, and Heartbreak Bay all by Rachel Kane, We Could Be Heroes by Mike Chen, The Whispering Dead by Darcy Coates, the Charm Offensive by Allison Cochran, Recursion by Blake Crouch, Reputation by Lex Croucher, Shipwrecked, Teach Me, and Sweetest in the Gale all by Olivia Dade, You Had Me at Ola by Alexis Staria, Heir of Ashes by H.M. Darling, Well Traveled by Jen DeLuca, Bear With Me by Lucy Eden, It Devours, and The Faceless Old Woman Who Secretly Lives in Your Home by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. Firefly, Big Damn Hero, The Magnificent Nine, The Ghost Machine, Generations, Life Signs, and Carnival, The Octonummy Prologue by Trevor Allen Forrest, Magic for Liars by Sarah Gailey, The Monster of a Lenthaven by Jennifer Geisbricht, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, Husband Material by Alexis Hall, Ink and Sigil by Kevin Hearn, Take a Hint Danny Brown and Act Your Age Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert, Terminal Alliance by Jim C. Hines, In Between by M.J. James, Seer from the Green by Lauren Jankowski, The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison, The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones, Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly, The Institute by Stephen King, 
The Burning God by R.F. Kuang, Heroin Worship by Sarah Kuhn, In a Holidays, and Something Wilder by Christina Lauren, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, Middle Game by Sean and McGuire, The Nishan Smile by C.J. Merwild, Unlondon by China Mievel, Polaris Rising by Jessamy Hollick, Sleeping Giants, Waking Gods, and Only Human by Sylvain Nouvelle, Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Temi O, oh, Velocity Weapon by Megan E. O'Keefe, Battle Royal by Lucy Parker, Riffs and Refrains by Daphne Perry, Night Film by Marisha Pessel, Witchmark by C.L. Polk, Maplecroft by Sherry Priest, Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse, The Boyfriend Project by Farah Rashan, The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager, The Final Empire, Firefight, and Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon, Beauty's Rose, and The Little Mermaid's Voice by Shona Slayton, this one, I have not been able to tell based on Goodreads if they are young adult, or adult, or a mix during the whole series. The Deep by River Solomon, Tempest by C.L. Stone, Starship Repo by Patrick S. Tomlinson, The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay, The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton, Thunderbird, The Raptor and the Wren, and Vultures by Chuck Wendig, Evil's Unlikely Assassin, and Pierced by Venom by Jen Windrow, and the last one for the adult section over here, Muses and Melodies by Rebecca Yaros. Now we're moving into the young adult books with Bad Girls Don't Die, and From Bad to Cursed by Katie Allender, Killer Instinct, and All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron, White Cat, Red Glove, and Black Heart by Holly Black, Girl of Nightmares by Kendara Blake, Wayfarer by Alexandra Bracken, the One by Kiera Cass, Honor Bound, and Honor Lost by Rachel Kane and Anne Aguire, Ink and Bone, Paper and Fire, Ash and Quill, Smoke and Iron, and Sword and Pen by Rachel Kane, The Angel Room by Lee Call, Vicious Spirits by Kat Cho, Into the Crooked Place by Alexander Christo, Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare, Scorch by Gina D'Amico, The Fandom by Anna Day, Spell Slinger by Sebastian de Castell, Eat Your Heart Out, and Go Hunt Me by Kelly Devos, The Disasters by M.K. England, Black Hole Sun and Invisible Sun by David McKinnis Gill, The Book Jumper by Mechfield Glasser, Somewhere Only We Know by Maureen Gu, Invictus by Ryan Groudon, Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin, The Similars by Rebecca Hanover, Theatrical by Maggie Harcourt, Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins, Endangered, a Falling Star, The Quest, Revenge, and Trapped in Wonderland by Danny Hoots, The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza, and We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson, You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson, Jay's Gay Agenda by Jason June, Dare Mighty Things by Heather Kaczynski, Aurora's End by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, A Heart So Fierce and Broken, Letters to the Lost, Spark, and Spirit by Bridget Kemmerer, Autobiography by Christina Lauren, A Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee, Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand, A Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger, Ship It by Britta London, Flesh and Bone and Fire and Ash by Jonathan Mayberry, A Dream So Dark by L. L. McKinney, One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus, Into the Heartless Wood by Joanna Ruth Meyer, Cress and Winter by Marissa Meyer, Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, Release and The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness, Unbreakable by Elizabeth Norris, The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, The Echo Room, and Where Futures End by Parker Peavy House, The Demon's Lexicon by Sarah Reese Brennan, The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School by Sonora Reyes, and Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, Wayward Son by Rainbow Roll, Erased by Jennifer Rush, Blood Like Magic by Lacelle Sanberry, Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson, The Darkness Outside Us by Elliot Schreffer, This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab, Key of Arcandus by Lauren N. Sefchik, Through the Zombie Glass by Gina Showalter, They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera, Last Dance, Witch Ball, Sword Play, Fatal Charm, and Magician's Muse by Linda Joy Singleton, The Raven King, and Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Stiefvater, The Dead Lifeguard, and Silent Night by R.L. Stein, Love's Cruel Redemption by C.L. Stone, 
Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, Given by Nandy Taylor, The Sunbearer Trials by Aiden Thomas, Tarnished Are the Stars by Rosie Thor, The Merciless Three, and The Merciless Four Last Rites by Danielle Vega, The Guinevere Deception, and Slayer by Kirsten White, For Better or Cursed by Kate Williams, Running with Lions by Julian Winters, Now Entering Adamsville by Francesca Zappia. Okay, so we have moved along a little bit because I have some manga to show you guys, as well as some more Stephen King. The Girl from the Other Side Deluxe Edition by Nagabe, Beyond the Promised Neverland by Kayu Shirai, The Demon Prince of Momochi House Volume 9, Volume 10, Volume 11, Volume 12, Volume 13, Volume 14, Volume 15, and Volume 16 by Aya Shoto, Princess Jellyfish Volume 8, and Volume 9 by Akiko Higashimura, Tokyo Tarareba Girls Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4 by Akiko Higashimura, Your Lion April Volume 10, and Volume 11 by Naoshi Arakawa, Subasa Volume 2, and Volume 3, and Triple X Holic Volume 2 by Clamp. Moving into Stephen King, Just After Sunset, Thinner, The Eyes of the Dragon, Blaze, Cujo, Doctor Sleep, Dolores Claiborne, Rose Natter, Night Shift, Full Dark No Stars, The Bazaar of Bad Dreams, and The Tommyknockers. Then I also do have some comic bind-ups, like trade paperbacks, down here too. Adventure Van by Michael McMillian, Beneath an Alien Sky by Sid Cotian, Boston Metaphysical Society by Madeline Holly Rosing, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Volume 2 Once Bitten, Volume 3 From Beneath You, Hellmouth, Volume 4 Frenemies, Volume 5 The Biggest Bad, Volume 6 Secrets of the Slayer, Volume 7 The World Without Shrimp, these are all by Jordi Belair, Angel Volume 1 Being Human, Volume 2 City of Demons, Volume 3 or Angel and Spike Volume 1 All the Devils Are Here, these are by Brian Edward Hill, Angel and Spike Volume 2 What's Past is Prologue by Zach Thompson, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Willow by Mariko Tamaki, and Chosen Ones by Migrid Scott. Fence Volume 4 Rivals by C.S. Picot. Firefly The Unification Wars Part 1 by Greg Pack. Hexed Omnibus by Michael Allen Nelson. The Hunt Part 1 by Lucid. Joyride Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3 by Jackson Lansing. Kodoja by Keith Foster. Low Volume 3 Shore of the Dying Light by Rick Remender. Once and Future Volume 3 Parliament of Magpies by Kieran Gillen. Something is Killing the Children, Volume 3 by James Tinian IV, Wayward, Volume 4, Threads and Portents by Jim Zub, The Wicked and the Divine, Imperial Phase, Part 1, and Part 2 by Kieran Gillen, and then a couple graphic novels, Bang Bang Boom, Volume 2 by Melanie Schoen, and Urban Animal, Volume 1 by John Amore and Justin Jordan. Okay, so now we're at the desk where I actually do a lot of my filming in general. Um, and I'm here because I do have a couple, like, fandom things. There's a couple Sherlock books, there's a couple uh, Doctor Who books, there's quite a few Star Trek books, so I'm going to be going through those things next. But then also, just so you guys know, I have Middle Grade, there's a shelf down here of TBR, I have some adult mass markets, I think they're all adult, and then I also have book box books. So we're, we're getting, we're getting there. For the Sherlock books, I do have The Return of Sherlock Holmes, and His Last Bow by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. We have a couple Mass Effect things. Mass Effect Andromeda Nexus Uprising by Jason M. Hoff and K.C. Alexander, as well as Mass Effect Andromeda Annihilation by Catherine M. Valenti. For Doctor Who, I have Winner Takes All and The Stone Rose by Jacqueline Rayner, Prisoner of the Daleks by Trevor Baxendale, and Touched by an Angel by Jonathan Morris. Moving into the Star Trek stuff, I have Blackfire by Sunny Cooper, Corona by Greg Bear, The Final Reflection by John M. Ford, Uhura Song by Janet Kagan, Ishmael by Barbara Hambly, Killing Time by Della Van Heis, Demons by J.M. Dillard, Deep Domain by Howard Weinstein, Dreams of the Raven by Carmen Carter, Bloodthirst by J.M. Dillard, The Idic Epidemic by Jean Laura, Time for Yesterday by A.C. Crispin, Vulcan's Glory by D.C. Fontana, Double Double by Michael Jan Friedman, The Cry of the Onlys by Judy Class. The Kobayashi Maru by Julia Eckler, Doctor's Orders by Diane Duane, Renegade by Jean DeWeese, The Rift by Peter David, Faces of Fire by Michael Jan Friedman, 
Ice Trap by L.A. Graff, Death Count by L.A. Graff, Shell Game by Melissa Crandall, The Starship Trap by Mel Gildon, Windows on a Lost World by V.E. Mitchell, From the Depths by Victor Milan, The Great Starship Race by Diane Carey, Prime Directive by Judith and Garfield Reeve Stevens, The Patreon Transgression by Simon Hawk, Crossroad by Barbara Hambly, The Better Man by Howard Weinstein, First Frontier by Diane Carey and Dr. James I. Kirkland, Twilight's End by Jerry Oltian, The Rings of Tati by Dean Wesley Smith and Christine Catherine Rush, Spock's World by Diane Duane, The Entropy Effect by Vonda N. McIntyre, Devil World by Gordon Eklund, Spock Messiah by Theodore R. Cogswell and Charles A. Spano Jr., The Price of the Phoenix by Sandra Marshock and Myrna Colbreth, Perry's Planet by Jack C. Haldeman II, Strangers from the Sky by Margaret Wander Bonanno, The Lost Years by J.M. Dillard, Probe by Margaret Wander Bonanno, and The Janus Gate by L.A. Graff. Okay, now we're gonna move into middle grade. Twin Enchantment by Elise Allen, Small Spaces by Catherine Arden, Among the Ghosts by Amber Benson, The Silver Mask and The Golden Tower by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, A World Without Princes, and The Last Ever After by Soman Shinani, The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer, The Foul Twins, and The Supernaturalist by Owen Colfer, The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris, Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy, Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbalia, The Forgotten Five Map of Flames by Lisa McMahon, Frog Kisser by Garth Nix, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer, and The Hammer of Thor, The Trials of Apollo, Book One, The Hidden Oracle, and Book Two, The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan, Bridge of Souls by V.E. Schwab, and Love and Thumps and the Gateway to Foo by Obert Sky. Now we're going into the mass markets. I have Grim Space by Anne Aguirre, Night Shifted by Cassie Alexander, Night Chaser by Amanda Boucher, Grave Peril by Jim Butcher, Sunstorm by Arthur C. Clarke and Stephen Baxter, Nightwalker, Day Hunter, Dawnbreaker, Pray for Dawn, and Wait for Dusk by Jocelyn Drake, Spider's Bite by Jennifer Estep, Nova by Margaret Fortune, Into the Fire, Shades of Wicked, and Wicked Bite, The Beautiful Ashes, The Sweetest Burn, and The Brightest Embers, all by Janine Frost, American Gods, and Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, Feed by Mira Grant, Something from the Night Side by Simon R. Green, Heat of the Moment, and Smoke on the Water by Lori Handelin, Tricked by Kevin Hearn, The Goblin King by Shona Husk, Touched by an Alien by Ginny Koch, Deadly Curiosities by Gail Z. Martin, Rosemary and Rue by Shauna McGuire, The Game Board of the Gods, and The Immortal Crown by Rochelle Mead, House Immortal, and Magic to the Bone by Devin Monk, Never Let Me Fall by Abby Rhodes, Empire of Silence by Christopher Rucchio, Creature by John Saul, Between by Carrie Schaefer, The Chosen, Soulmate, Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight by L.J. Smith, and The Monstrumologist by Rick Yancey. And that means last but not least, we have book box books right here. Um, these used to be over on the TBR shelf, but I ended up with too many things over there. So I did separate them out. I have them basically separated by adult and young adult. So, Book of Night by Holly Black, Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail by Ashley Herring Blake, The Book Eaters by Soon Yi Dean, The Heart Principle by Helen Huang, Babel by R.F. Kuang, X's and O's by Amy Lee, Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Lee, The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd Jones, A Marvelous Light by Freya Marske, Ocean's Echo by Everina Maxwell, she Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan, A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross, The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew, When Night Breaks by Janella Angelis, This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron, The Luminaries by Susan Dennard, Legendborn by Tracy Dion, The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He, The Name Bearer by Natalia Hernandez, The Gracier by Kim Liggett, Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston, Bone Crier's Moon, and Bone Crier's Dawn by Catherine Purdy, I Hope You Get This Message by Farah Nas Rishi, Gallant by V.E. Schwab, A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth, Witches Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart, Beneath the Citadel by Destiny Soria, In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland, Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley, and As You Walk On By by Julian Winters. So that, after everything, should be it. I think, like I said before, I think it's on 413 books. On my physical TBR, again, much better than years past. So like, yes, it's a lot, but it's not as bad as it could be. 
Let's just go with that. Again, leave me a comment down below if you think any of these are ones that I need to read because I will end up picking some during TBR games. Also, I am open for buddy reads if you have a book that you would really like to read. Um, I don't think I have anything coming up in the next couple months or so. Um, I probably will only be able to do like one a month, but I am open for that as well. And I've had some really good buddy reads in the past from videos like this where people are like, hey, I see you're going to read a book that I want to read or I see you own a book that I want to read. Let's do it. So let me know that as well. And that is going to be it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos. I do have videos coming out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I will see you then. Bye!